Trouble is brewing in Apple land as reports are surfacing that the latest software update for iPhone 6 phones is allegedly rendering the device useless if it detects repairs not carried out by Apple. So if any number of things go wrong with your phone, like you drop your phone, you smash your screen, I myself have got a smash screen, plenty of people I know have got a smash screen, you might take it to a local repair person to get that fixed because, well, it's, it might be easier, it might be cheaper, it might be both. But apparently, according to this report, if the iOS handset that has iOS 9 on it detects this, the device will be rendered useless. Now, the problem is known as Error 53 and has appeared in Apple products before. Now there is a report by The Guardian, which I will link in the description below, that basically says that people's phones were disabled after the Touch ID home button was repaired by a non-Apple engineer. And this issue, as I said earlier, only appears to come up once the device has been updated to the latest OS, which of course is iOS 9. Now, in their report, The Guardian is citing some experiences of a freelance photographer by the, by the name of rather Antonio Olmos, who basically says that you know, it only happened after I upgraded my software. And The Guardian says, quote, When Olmos, who says he spent thousands of pounds on Apple products over the years, took it to an Apple store in London, t staff told him there was nothing they could do, and that his phone was now junk. And in that case, he had to pay £270 for a replacement and was understandably quite annoyed and angry about this. And he said, quote, the whole thing is extraordinary. How can a company deliberately make their own products useless with an upgrade and not warn their own customers about it? Outside of the big industrialized nations, Apple stores are few and far between and damaged phones can only be brought back to life by small third party repairers. I am not even sure these third party outfits even know this is a potential problem. And indeed, if you Google Error 53 Apple or the other way around, you will find numerous results and reports. And if you head over to the discussion forums, which also will be linked below, as well as the Guardian article, you will see numerous users basically saying that they cannot now use their phone. And one of them says, quote, I did get the front screen replaced and I understand that it's now considered tampered with, but at least let me use my iPhone on the old iOS system. I can't retrieve old photos or important documents I once had. And I do have a brief statement here from a Apple spokesperson and basically said, quote, when an iPhone is serviced by an unauthorized repair provider, faulty screens or other invalid components that affect the Touch ID sensor could cause the check to fail if the pairing cannot be validated. With the subsequent update or restore, additional security checks result in an error 53 being displayed. And there have been previous statements regarding this particular error, basically saying that it's for security. And this is what this statement reads. Quote, we take customer security very seriously and error 53 is the result of security checks designed to protect our customers. iOS checks at the Touch ID sensor in your phone or iPad correctly matches your device's other components. If iOS finds a mismatch, the check fails and Touch ID, including for Apple Pay use, is disabled. The security measure is necessary to protect your device and prevent a fraudulent Touch ID sensor from being used. If a customer encounters Error 53, we encourage them to contact Apple support. Now, while that sounds reasonable, the real issues begin when you cannot just use a previous version. Say you have this happen. You try to naturally restore or update the software, perhaps send it back to a previous version, an old version of iOS or before this update happened or blah de blah de blah. And this is when the additional security checks happen, to flag the hardware change and trigger error 53. And there are several reports on the Apple support forums, which again will be linked in the description below, so there's going to be three links below. And basically saying that their devices get stuck in a boot loop. You know, I don't see the logic of Apple refusing to let the phone continue working minus the Touch ID. You know, just have it as a previous older version or something like that. Still use this very expensive device that they have paid for or maybe still paying for if they're on contract. So the whole thing seems a bit of a mess. I can kind of understand that logic of, hey, you can't use Touch ID now for various security reasons, but not letting a user use their previous version, as I've said a few times now, just seems mad. I don't understand the logic. So yeah, that's a bit of a thing. So just keep that in mind if you have iOS 6 devices on iOS 9 and anything happens, 
Just be cautious and perhaps send it to Apple for repairs until a resolution is reached, that's assuming if one is ever reached. So yeah, just be careful. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time.